It's hard to believe they get like that after a year. Oh my gosh. What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. Uh, we've got another project today. We're gonna do wheel bearings on my CRF 250R. Just the rear wheel bearings and I'm suspecting it's only one side but I got a full wheel bearing kit. And as you guys saw in my other video from last October before I went to Baja Acres, I ended up to totally redoing my rims and, and uh, hubs and spokes and everything. Put new tires on there, powder coated the rims and hubs. Well, I put new bearings in. And one thing that I noticed after, I don't even know what it was, maybe a couple of months, I thought I saw a little piece of rubber down by, down by the uh, chain side of the rear hub. <laughs> so the only thing I could think of is that it just must have ground the uh, the bearing bad enough to where it's it's got a bit quite a bit of play. I'll show you guys that in a minute. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pop the wheel off and then um, pull the dust seals and then pull the bearings. We're gonna take a look at the bearings. I got a new wheel kit, I got new dust seals. Uh, we're good to go. So we got everything. Stick around, it's gonna be a pretty decent video. So, but if you guys aren't subscribed to the channel, hit the subscribe button for me and uh, make sure you hit the alert bell that way you're notified of future updates to the channel. Don't forget to smash the like button, always appreciate that. Check us out on Instagram. Like I said, always got stuff going up on there. So let's go ahead and get into this video. Okay, so we're back here um, by the rear wheel. I was cleaning the bike up and what I discovered was quite a bit of play. So obviously uh, this, at least this bearing, this side bearing is bad. So I got, like I said, I got a whole new kit. So I'm just gonna go ahead and pop all this off and uh, get these bearings swapped out because I'm going to Polka Dots MX out in Midland tomorrow. They have last uh, ride day, open ride of practice of the year. So, and then they have vintage racing on Saturday. Um, and then practice starts after vintage racing. And then Sunday they have AMA District 14 racing. So I'm not sure if I'm gonna stay for that, but definitely gonna do practice. So definitely wanna get this done before I go. Yeah, so as you can see, there's quite a bit of grime that gets up in there. Can't really help that too much. Just got to make sure that you got, you know, your good seals, good dust seals in there to seal out all the, the dust and grime. Okay, let's go ahead and see what we got here. Yeah, there's definitely grime in there. No doubt about that. Yeah, you can see it right there. That's probably just what's left of it. Looks like there's big chunks taken out. Now how the stinking heck that happened. I don't know if that was from... I mean, I was pretty adamant about cleaning the bike and keeping it clean. Uh, so I don't know if it was a, the kit that I got for it that had just cheaper dust seals or what. Um, I did get some OEM dust seals though. These are straight from, I got these off Rocky Mountain ATVMC, but they're OEM Honda 91251-KZ4-J21. Now yeah, I got all balls uh, wheel bearing kit. So 
Is that big chunk missing? There's a couple. Wow, two big spaces. So yeah, they just got ground to a pulp. It's too bad. Got a bearing puller set. So make sure you get it right on the lip there. I think I may have been trying to grab them both at the same time. There we go. Grime up in back of there too. Throw a little more heat at it. It's hard to believe they get like that after a year. Oh my gosh. That's unbelievable. <laughs> Yikes, folks. All right, I mean, the other side looks fine, but let's take a peek anyway. Yeah, that actually seems good. Just clean it up. Uh, the seal's bad, though. Man, what is up with that? It's like the cheapest seals ever. And I know they're only dust seals, but come on. And I filled these lips with grease. I mean, I guess this one was mostly intact, but that right there. You know, these don't look that bad, actually. What I'm going to do, though, is I'm going to take the axle and stick it down in there. Yeah, that one still looks brand new, almost. What? That sounds dry as heck. It is! Oh my gosh, guys. You could hear it. These are 6905 RS. I'm gonna have to go back and look at my parts list for when, when I rebuilt these. If these are the same, all balls, I can't remember. If they are, this will be the last time I use them, that's for sure. Well, how about that? Kind of like it. When it pops out like that, it's easy. So I popped these all balls bearings apart and this is what I found. A little bit of grease on one side and nothing on the other. So I'm gonna use my Amsoil Synthetic Water Resistant Low Temp Grease and uh, I'm gonna pack these before I put them in. 
I already did this one. Hopefully that will uh, help to extend them out. It doesn't have to be a whole lot. That should do the trick. And these are the seals here. You just carefully pop them back in. Mm, look at that. Yeah, they spin nice, but... Don't seem very protected, in my opinion. Even the one that, even that bearing I took out that looked good, it sounded horrendous. Looks good. All right, we'll go pop these in the freezer for a few minutes and then we'll heat these up, heat the hub up on each side and pop these in real quick. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and heat this up real quick. We'll grab the bearing. Sucker just slipped right in. Then I'm just gonna clean the grime off of this real quick. Just gonna put some blue Loctite on there. And you just want to take a punch and put a punch mark of the edge of the hub and the lock nut there, the retainer nut, and that'll lock it in place. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and flip it over, do the other side, and then uh, I'll wait for it to cool and then I'll put the seals in. So I'm going to go ahead and heat this side up again and then put that, uh, go grab that other bearing. And we're going to let the whole thing cool down. Then we're going to come back and put the seals in. All right, so they're in and cooled down. I'm going to put some grease on the inside there and pop the collars back in and put the tire back on. The wheel.
All right, last thing to do is to grease up the axle here and we'll put it back together. You don't have to put a lot on the axle. Just a nice light coating. All right, that's it. Let's go back over to the bike. All right, so the next thing I'm gonna do is tighten this chain back up. And then all you wanna do is just stick your fingers under here. And you want three fingers of slack right next to the, the lug of the tire. Do the same thing on this side. And a little trick here is to take this type of rag and then just put it in between the chain and the sprocket. And that'll tighten it up to where you can make it even. And the line is just past the halfway mark. This little notch right here, you can barely see it. And you always want to make sure that if you take these out, when you put them back in, you put anti-seize in there. Because <clears throat> yes, they will seize up on you. A little bit of anti-seize goes a long way, folks. And this gets torqued to 96 foot-pounds. And when you torque it, you want to have the handle on the right-hand side so you're not cranking the axle that way. There you go. And like I said, this is the rag you want to pin up in there and that'll give you a nice straight. Now what the manual says is that when you push down on this, from that point all the way up should be right around an inch and a half. So from there, to there. That's almost an inch and a half there, so. We'll get some lube on this thing and call it a day. All right, folks, that is it. I hope you enjoyed the video. Wasn't a whole lot to it. Uh, it's a pretty simple job, actually. And uh, if you have the right tools, recommended tools are definitely, you wanna get the slide hammer bearing removal and then the uh, one side special socket. It's got those notches on it. So those are the two most important tools that you'll need for this job. It doesn't really cost that much. You can go to Harbor Freight and get the one and go to Rocky Mountain and get the other. So, All right, guys. Hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, if you guys aren't subscribed, make sure you hit the subscribe button and the alert bell. That way you can come back and check out, check out what we got going on. Always doing something here. 
Uh, don't forget to smash the like button. Always appreciate that. Check us out on Instagram, and we'll see you guys in the next video. So take care, come on back, and always, God bless.